Hey, what's going on? Here's a cool new AI based tool that I recently became aware of. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced, but it's L A L A L dot AI. So I'm going to refer to it as la la la. Basically what this is for those that don't know, when you go into a studio and you record an actual song, you're typically recording and laying down individual tracks. So for example, you would lay down a drum track, you would lay down a bass guitar track, then you would add in your other instrumentation, and you would also start adding in your vocals, maybe your background vocals. And when that is all completed, those individual tracks can then be exported and saved as part of your session in what's called a stem. Just a tiny little bit of an editorial insert here. So when we're talking about multi-tracks and stems, the primary difference would be, let's take a drum track, for example. A drum track would actually typically be broken up into a series of tracks. So for example, in a drum kit, you would, for the kick drum, you would have a kick drum track. For the hi-hat, you would have a hi-hat track. For the snare drum, you would have a snare track. And in some cases, depending on how you're miking the snare, you could have multiple tracks for the snare. And for all of the different components of the drum kit, you're likely going to have individual tracks for each of those. When you mix all of those tracks into a stereo mix, so that you just have one file that has all of those tracks combined into it, that would be an example of what a stem would be. So if a producer said, can you send me the drum track for the song? Rather than sending them you know, potentially like 50 or 60 multi-track files, you can send them the combined stereo recording or a stem that can then be used in their recording software. So say, for example, you want to just have the piano part of a song, you would take the piano stem and bring that into your audio workstation software and use that for whatever it is that you're trying to use. Let's say, for example, though, you have a song that is just a completely produced song and you don't have the individual stems to work with and you want to be able to do something with that, like, for example, separate out the drums or separate out just the vocals. There's not a lot of tools to do that really well, I would say. Um, I know of a few that are out there, uh, but I recently came across this one, La La Lie, that I think is pretty amazing. So what I'm going to do is show you a couple examples of how this tool works. So if we come to their website, it's lalal.ai, and you can see here it lands you on this page, and it just gives you an option right here to drop up to 20 files. <laughs> um, if you scroll down, you can see what, what is La La Lie. You can ch check out a sample that they provide, and then they kind of list their pricing packages. So you can see for free, you get 10 minutes, and your upload size is 50 megabytes. And then it shows you options of like what formats you can use and whether or not you can download the stems that it produces, etc. And then if you go up to the plus pack, you can see it's $30 a month. It's a one-time fee and you have up to 300 minutes, two gigabytes upload size file limit. And then you do have other options here like faster processing, batch upload, and the ability to download the stems. And there's a light pack as well for $15. So based on what your requirements would be, there's something here for everybody. And then there's just some FAQs down below here. So let's just get started here. Uh, I'm going to share an uh, uh, audio clip that I have here from a song that I found on uh, the Internet. Like right in that middle spot there, you heard the bass drop and it comes in nice and strong. You can hear some drums, definitely some synth, and definitely some vocals. So what I'm going to do is drop this audio file right onto the page here. And you'll see that it's going to upload and then it's going to start to process the file. 
And what it's going to do is it's going to actually generate previews of what it was able to pull out of that song and then give you the ability to listen to and preview those various options. So it's essentially using AI to create the stems that you are not able to get because you don't have the original session itself. So you can see here pretty quickly, it gives me my previews and it lists out all the different things that it feels that it can pull out. So it starts out with vocal and instrumental. So if I go ahead and just run the preview for vocal. I tryna put on a mask and act like these things are just going past me like they nothing, like they nothing. Cause I know they something and I just need you to know why I refuse to let the light fade away. Even through the darkest day I got. So as you can see, it did a pretty good job of separating out just the vocals. There are a little bit of artifacts that you can hear in the background, but you didn't hear that bass drop. You don't hear any of the drums, and it's pretty clearly pulling out the vocals. Now, if you listen to the instrumental, this would be like you want just the soundtrack and not with the vocals. That's what this would sound like. So you can kind of hear some artifacting of the vocals underneath, but if you were to mix this into something and do some additional processing, you can use this as reference for the actual instrumental of the song itself. So now let's do like if we select just the drums, let's see if it does a decent job of pulling out just the drums by itself. And this right now, all, by the way, is all using the free website here without a paid subscription. And I haven't even logged in and created an account. So it's pretty amazing that they let you do all this just for free. So I'm going to go ahead and just run the drums. So at the beginning, you remember there was like that synth at the beginning. There's no drums, but the drums do come in uh, shortly right about here. So again, pretty good job. You can hear some artifacting underneath of uh, some of the other components, but did a pretty good job, uh, relatively speaking, of pulling the drums out. Let's see what it listens to, what it sounds like if we listen to it without the drums. So the drums should come in right about where my pointer is here. Right here. You can kind of hear some percussion there. It's funny, you can hear the bass without the drums, and it sounds kind of funny. All right, let's see what happens if we do just the bass. I'm interested to see if it can pull just the bass guitar out by itself. But I mean, considering what this is doing, it's it's pretty amazing the quality that it can produce in such a short amount of time. And it just kind of shows where AI is going as far as being able to correct this type of stuff and help out with this. So you can see here there was no bass at the beginning of the song at all. So it's pretty quiet here. So if I go up to where the bass is... I can hear some artifacting that makes it almost sound kind of like rah, 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 rah. <laughs> So if I come down to the preview of without bass and I go to like right about where the bass would come in that's, that's actually amazing. There's zero bass there. So as you can see, it's a pretty cool uh, tool 
I just wanted to, just to do a quick review of it. I don't know how many times they'd let you test this with the free service without logging in and creating an account and picking a plan. But I've done this a couple times now with a couple different files and it hasn't told me I need to sign in or anything. So it's pretty amazing. Obviously, if you're gonna download stuff, you would have to probably create an account. Uh, this is all just streaming over their site. But as you can see, it's a pretty cool tool for people that like to do covers or maybe people that like to do videos of them doing drum covers on top of the instrumentation of a song. Something like this is like really awesome to give you that reference track that you might need to be able to do something like that. So I hope you enjoyed this.